Hey guys, welcome back to Kerbal Space Programme. We are on Minmus and if you look at the base around me, you will notice that we have assembled all the Thunderbirds so we can go off and complete Minmus. Uh, by complete Minmus, I obviously mean collect all the science and as we did last episode, visit the anomalies. Uh, Kirk himself is out uh, to find all the, the, the science. Um, back at the Kerbal Space Center, I had a look through all the science that we had and all the science that we needed. Well, I extrapolated all the science that we needed after knowing what biomes we have and what science um, experiments I have access to. Now, this vessel here, the Spirit of Defiance, isn't quite set up optimally. Now, I when i built this vessel i was under the impression that each uh, each science bay could get science both on the floor and in space now it turns out for things like the goo canister and the materials bay um the, maybe the temperature scan i can't remember but for like the the uh, in place science experiments if you're in space that just classes as one biome not floating over the top of the biome underneath so with that in mind, that means we can make lots of little surface readings, and that is what we're going to do today. We're going to go around and we're going to find all the biomes that we can make surface readings from. Now, we will find, we will spot today where I find out that little piece of information as I like get to my point and and fly up and do stuff. But that's all right. We will talk about that as and when it happens. At the moment, we're just going to watch this wonderful journey going on here. Now, if you remember, the biome bouncer did something that was. Um, remarkably similar to this. It, it would push itself up in the air and then we'd get on a nice suborbital orbital trajectory to put us down where we wanted to go. Now, the Spirit of Defiance uses a similar technology but also has two rockets on the back and, more importantly, some wheels. So that in the low gravity, low friction environment that is Minmus, we can just carry on sailing forever. Um, this is so good that next episode, spoilers, we're going to go all the way around the planet. But We'll get to that next time. What we're looking at right now is that ridge line over that way because that is where the uh, Midlands starts. Uh, right now we're after Midlands, Lowlands and the Great Flats. Um, uh, the reason it's such a big and is because it's whilst we're down in the Midlands that I'm like, oh look, this isn't quite right. Um, we can do more science in more places. But that's okay. Right, so first... Kirk is flying. Um, th this is always a, a sketchy moment, um, and it turns out the wheels can do uh, a lot to uh, break my descent, as you just noticed there. As long as I land wheels first, I've not actually found any serious uh, like forward velocity speed limit. Um, I've, I've not put any brakes on at any point. Oh, first, I would like to draw your attention to that wiggly ri ridge line uh, on the left over there. I, I, I gave it a look just a second ago, but uh, the reason I want to draw your attention to it is because that is where the Midlands are. Uh, and you will note that I am flying very much not in the right direction. So we need to try and stop ourselves mid-air, turn around to point towards that direction, and then pick up our speed again. So this is what we're going to do now. Uh, so not only am I braking, uh, I'm also aiming ever so slightly up because the last thing I want to do is end up plummeting towards the floor. Uh, so with a, a small speed of 20 meters per second in a random direction, I'm not sure which way it's going at the moment, uh, I'm going to just like point in the direction I want to go. Um, I should really have been using chase cam here so we can find out where, where I'm going. Um, find, spot the debris in the distance, go, hmm, that's very interesting over there, and then put my eye on that, well, uh, uh, my favourite phrase of this episode, that ridge line over there. So whilst coming in here, I'm rather conscious of the fact that I seem to be dropping at, at quite some speed, and I start off by um, using my RCS to try and push myself up here, but I very quickly note that that's not really making the headway that's really needed, uh, and end up uh, pointing my rockets down underneath me, and just give myself a little, little bit of a, a lift up to my my arc or trajectory um, so until eventually my nose is level with where we want to be and now I'm gonna just try and slow down a bit uh, you'll notice that I'm uh, hacking back on the uh, RCS all the, all the way here I don't think we're going too uh, so fast that we need to use the rockets to slow down um, and it's also nice to keep my nose pointed in the right direction um, so we uh, apply some brakes, use the RCS as well, and just really try and bring down my speed as quick as possible. Uh, it turns out as quick as possible isn't actually that fast on Minmus. There's uh, every time that I try to slow myself down with brakes, I kind of hop up in the air a little bit. 
But there we go, right, so we're in the Midlands and we're ready to do some sciencing. I do stand corrected, we're actually a little way uh, north of, of uh, said area. So I'm going to turn my brakes off, push myself forwards a bit and just watch my biomarker on the top right there. Uh, I'm not going to pick up too much speed because that makes things uh, very, very awkward for slowing down. But what I am going to do is have a look at my map here and just wait, like just d double check that I'm pointed in the right direction. Yes, I am pointed in the right direction. Um, and we're just going to, again, as I say, wait for that biomarker to change. We're, we're in the highlands still, we're on the surface still. Um, we're travelling along at about 20 metres per second, and that, that should get us down into the Midlands relatively quickly. Uh, if we zoom out here, we can see the, the, the patch I'm on. Uh, now, I had assumed that this entire flat patch... Uh, was the Midlands, uh, as I assume that that entire next flat patch lower down is the, the Lowlands. Um, but anyway, as we were looking, um, we, we made the, the transition from biome to biome, and we now just need to, to break again, which, as I say, on Minmus can take a little bit of time, um, especially as, as I just keep my nose in the air. And here I, oh, I was just using my brakes and now I'm going to use RCS to try and slow down. As I've noticed that there is a little bit of a jump coming up quite quickly and I don't want to go over the side of that. So now that we've actually stopped in the middle of the Midlands, it's time to do some science. Also extend solar panels, but look to the bottom right of my screen right now. You'll notice that Kirk is not showing his beautiful face there, which means we can't get out and do some EVA. I don't know what caused that. Uh, I think it's something to do with um, hooking up the attachment system via a uh, fuel pipe to something that's only got a robot brain on it. Uh, and for some reason that takes away the Kerbal's faces. Or rather the portraits. I mean, taking away the Kerbal's faces would be like quite vicious, really. Almost something out of a horror movie. But anyway, it's time to do some science. Uh, so we've got the, uh, the goo canister to do. Uh, this is just making sure we're in the right place. Yes, we are. Awesome. Keep the science. Uh, so goo canister. We did the materials bay that is upside down. We then also need to do a temperature scan, which I will hopefully do at some point. Um, ah, in fact, this is where we find it. So float it up. Go to do the uh, materials bay, and what's this? No, no, it's not the right science. It's not the right type of science. Anyway, look, no, no science to be done there. Uh, in space near Minmus. No, that's wrong. That's not what I was after at all. But that also means that we get to um, do different biomes, which is good. Uh, it does take me a while to read over this a couple of times and be like, what's going on here? This doesn't quite work. Why, why, why is this not right? But trust me, I do figure it out eventually, um, and we get back on our way. Well, before we get on our way, it's time to bust Kirk out, is it not? Oh, did I forget to do an EVA and materials, uh, not materials, an EVA and a crew report there? It looks like I did. Whoops. I really should make a note of that somewhere. Uh, crew report, EVA report, and materials, uh, and a surface sample from Midlands. But it's all right. We'll, we'll think about that at some point. So what I'm doing now is making my way down to that patch down there. And you know what? We've, we've watched this fly down there before. Well, not down there, but we've watched this fly before. I'm going to jump ahead to the lowlands here, where we can make a braking maneuver and slow ourselves down. Woo! Now, I'm approaching the lowlands with quite a low um, horizontal velocity, something like 8 meters per second. Um, which unfortunately means that I'm coming down uh, a lot, lot harder than I would have uh, liked to. Really, um, as far as far as I'm aware, uh, going forwards fast doesn't have any effect on the landing gear, but coming down hard on them most definitely does. But Kurt Kerman is an experienced captain of this vessel now, and with the lightest of throttle touches, he can bring us down nicely on our wheels. And we just wait for all our velocity to to basically bleed out and and spend all our energies into smashing against the floor as. as like that really uh, right so we've got some science to do materials bays a little bit of um, goo canisters hopefully we're gonna do like some 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 outside of the cabin science hey out, out, out we get Kirk right so with Kirk outside it's time to uh, have a little fly around and go and get ourselves uh, the surface sample the most important of sciences that that seems to be where we get the most actual science points from did a small EVA uh, and now we've got to get inside and do uh, I really hope the crew report um, I know I am terrible at this but I Oh, well, we're going to store everything first. I think that was mainly because I was just kind of stuck on the side of it and, and when I pressed F it didn't work, so I just wanted to do something. Uh, and 
yeah, with that, we're going to prepare ourselves for the next launch. So with the revelations of the sciences, um, I've realized that I have uh, a lot more science bays and stuff that I can use. And the great flats are just over the top of that hill. So all we need to do is push up our throttle a little bit, just kind of roll over the top of that hill and hopefully get down quite nicely with very minimal uh, use of fuel, which is what being on Minmus is all about, is minimal use of fuel. You can just kind of glide over the surface without having to worry about anything. Uh, and we are airborne here. Well, I say airborne. We are spaceborne here, which is a little bit bit awkward, but that that's fine. We come down relatively softly onto our wheels, and th th off in front there we can see the Great Flats, where indeed our next scientific endeavour will be based. Now, I'm very tempted to break all the way down... Uh, this particular slope but at the same time I also like freewheeling it because well when you brake occasionally your front wheel will dig in and you'll flip over and then you've got all sorts of trouble you've got the space of time that it takes for your vehicle to arc down back to the floor to get those wheels back underneath you um, which isn't always the most difficult thing in the world to do but it's also not not by any stretch of the imagination the, the most easy maneuver in Kerbal Space Program. I suppose the most easy maneuver is just throw a parachute on a rocket, press space twice. I'm not sure. Anyway, on with the rolling downhill. Uh, I've the main problem with rolling towards the flats is that you actually have no idea how close the bottom of the hill is to you. Uh, I never really want to make the transition from downhill to flat uh, at like hundreds of meters to, per second but at the same time I don't want to like crawl my way down the hill at 10 meters per second because that would just take forever and as we've um, described many times in past episodes I get bored really really easily so I like to do things as quick as possible so that I don't get bored and then do stupid things because I'm bored uh, and this particular set of missions had lots of opportunities for, for things like that to happen but anyway I think ahead of me we can see the transition point so we're going to start like pulling back up well, I say pulling back we're going to start reversing on our RCS uh, we made the transition about 30 meters per second that seemed to work um, and I don't I I say in that I seem to have a lot of trouble getting all three of my wheels down on the floor and we've stopped yay that was a successful downhill roll that that I know that sounds like it was an easy thing to do, but uh, there have been many times where I've taken other rovers and or ships down slopes such as this where we've just ended up in a pile of bits at the bottom. Um, and that, that's not what this mission's about. Not at all. So, third science patch, uh, third biome patch. We've done our first crew report. Good going, Twitchy. You could have done better. Uh, we get outside, we do our surface sample. Woohoo! Science. And we do an EVA report, which is also amazing. Um, get back up on the ladder. No, we don't get up back up on the ladder. We put the ladder away and we fly on up there because Kirk is a bad man who loves to use his jetpack. Uh, we've got the site, we've got the materials, we've got the goo canister, uh, and right now I'm giving thought to if there's anywhere close by that's a different biome. Um, like I've I've only got one set of sciences that I can do, like materials bay and goo goo canister that I can do, and that I decide given what I have left to do. Um, I've lost my list, else I would read out the the. Oh, in fact, here we go. So the the lesser flats, the flats, and the great flats and also the poles uh, are left to do but I want to split them up into two separate things the, the, the flats, the lesser and the great are all close to each other on the other side of the planet and the poles are up north so that's very blatantly two separate missions there which means there's only really one option which is to return home which is a fairly easy procedure you'll notice over there I've got a pink marker I just need to point my nose towards it uh, nose my way up a little bit fire my rockets till we get something like a couple of hundred meters per second so we clear all the mountains uh, may maybe that was a bit too much um, slow ourselves down because we've noticed it's going too much um, bring our peri well I point right down at the floor so we can bring our apoapsis down as close as possible this is something that I picked up fairly recently um, as, as a, a way of uh, trimming my orbit um, if, if, if you point downwards you, you don't really lose much speed but you manage to bring the the, arc, the top of your arc down a bit um, which it turns out is a very like for the way that I keep overshooting my mark is a very important maneuver for myself if you find yourself doing that a lot 
point at the ground and and thrust away and you will probably find yourself finding uh, an orbit that is more to your liking all right so we are screaming along at quite a few meters per second and i don't think we need to watch this bit but we'll just pick up the flight from going over the top of the biome bouncer we're, we're coming in hot but that's all right because we're coming in like nice and high as well not nice and high we're coming down at a nice altitude and all we need to do is just like kill our speed and with two rocket engines on the back that really doesn't take long uh, a beautiful curb in a mun rise over in the distance they're reminding us why we are doing all this stuff and it is of course for the furtherment of the kerbal race back home Ah, oh. all right uh and we're gonna come in for a nice easy gentle landing here well at least that's the plan but you know nice easy gentle landings aren't the most common thing that i um take part in but there we go seven meters per second little bounce on the floor that's fine we're gonna point towards base and give ourselves a little bit more of a thrust um right so uh, that, that's it mission mission wrapped up there guys we went off we did uh three separate biomes we got most of the science that we needed from all of them at some point i'm gonna have to go back and get all the eva reports and crew reports and science for surface samples that i managed to forget because it turns out i forget a lot of crew reports and surface samples which really only really which really only really leaves me yes that's a sentence honest to say thank you very much for joining me for this science gathering mission uh we will be next back next time when we go around to the other side of the planet to gather more science um don't forget to check out my Facebook 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 group that I have just started. Uh, I'll put a link down below. And bye bye.